Hello, everybody. It's time for the answers for Challenge 399, Daily Dictation Challenge 399. Do you like my new background? Isn't this fantastic? Yeah. Let's master English. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a picture of Parmy here. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a photoshopped picture of Parmy. Uh, it looks much better than Parmy actually does in real life. But anyway, that's Parmy. Parmy Productions is the name of our company. Um, and that's Par Parmy's a bear. Parmy's a bear. Uh, but this, uh, and I'll be honest, it's a photoshopped picture of Parmy. But anyway, it looks good. Uh, so yeah, let's master English. Coach Shane's daily dictation. I love the design. It's fantastic. It's really cool. And now it's time for the answers for daily dictation 399. You guys did very, very well. Very pleased. Good job. Let's listen one more time. One grew up sickly, the other grew up very athletic. Surprisingly, it's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite relevant today and brilliantly written. One grew up sickly, the other grew up very athletic. Surprisingly, it's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite relevant today and brilliantly written. All right. You guys did a really nice job with the answers. Some of you only listening two times. Some of you taking many, many times to listen. This was Bill Gates. Ah, uh, yes. Do you recognize his voice? Some of you might recognize his voice. So I'll talk about the story in a minute. Uh, let's go slowly here through the different words. Uh, let me get a pen here. There you go. Red pen. I like a red pen. One grew up sickly. One grew up sickly one grew up sickly the other the other the other grew up very it's a good uh pv practice here watch my lips here grew up very grew up very yeah so normally grew up very it's like two step process but when we say it fast we can do it in one step grew up very, yeah, but it's got to go fast. It's a stop. We call that a stop P. Grew up, grew up, very, grew up, very. I'm right next to a microphone, so I hope you can hear. Grew up, very, grew up, very, very athletic. One grew up sickly, one grew up sickly, and the other grew up very athletic. And the other grew up very athletic. So the question is, one grew up sickly. What? The other grew up very athletic. Okay, so we got, so we have, so one, A was sickly and B was athletic as a child. Okay, but we'll talk about the meaning in a minute. So one grew up sickly. The other grew up very athletic. Surprisingly. Now, the word is surprisingly, surprisingly. But Americans, typically, we have what we call a non-rhotic R. In other words, it's kind of like a British style. So, for example, C-A-R. In America, we say car, car. But in the UK, they say something like ca, ca. We don't hear the R. And that's kind of what happens here. Surprise is perfect, but many Americans actually say surprise, surprise, surprise with no R. Surprisingly, it's Teddy. It is. Now, what happens here, we have a stop T, just like we had a stop P here and here. We had stop P's. Well, here we have a stop T. So I want you to stop it. It, if we finish, it, Right? That's finished. It. But we're going to stop it. It. Now, we're going to bring the S over here. It's Teddy. It's Teddy. It's Teddy. So we kind of have uh, three sounds here. It's Teddy. It's 
Teddy. Now, if this were daily English, like talking really fast, many times we'd just cancel the T and we'd say, is Teddy, is Teddy, is Teddy. Surprisingly, is Teddy, is Teddy. That's possible. That's possible. But let's go nice and clean. It's Teddy who was sickly. It's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. Who was sickly and had to push himself. So here we have a D and a T. Had. That's a, that's a full D, right? Had. But let's stop the D. Had. I stopped it. Had. And now I'm going to switch after I stop. Now I'm going to stay in the same position and make the T. Had to, to, we don't say to, we're going to say to, had to push himself, push himself. And we can get rid of this H. And the role, ah, R-O-L-E. Many of you wrote R-O-L-L, -L, which sounds the same, but the meaning is really different. And the role of the press, and the role of the press that she, okay, who's this? So we got Teddy, we got A, B, she, who's she? And the role of the press that she really digs into, that she really digs into is fascinating. So I want you to look at the sentence like this. And the role of the press is fascinating. That's the sentence there, okay? I got a pencil, not a pen. So I have to do this. There we go. And the role of the press is fascinating. But the sentence altogether. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite, once again, just like it's Teddy. It's Teddy. It's quite. It's quite relevant, rela, schwa sound here, relevant, here too, schwa, relevant, relevant, put these together, relevant today, this is also a schwa, relevant today, relevant today, and brilliantly, and I prefer you guys think of a stop T, and brilliantly written. And this is also a stop T. Brilliantly written. Stop T on both. Brilliantly written. Okay, that's the idea. And a lot of, te lot of English teachers will call this a glottal stop sound. But what's interesting here, I want you to recognize we stop the T and then we do a dark L. The tongue never moves. Brilliant. Lee. We stop the T and then we do the N. The tongue never moves. Written. Oh, wow. So these are things that we practice in my DDM class. And this lesson, Challenge 339, actually comes from DDM 139. So you should join. Okay. If you just want this lesson, Bill Gates, uh, very interesting story, you can get it. Uh, DDM 139. There's information down in the description in the YouTube description below. Uh, but yeah, join DDM. Get the free lessons, all right? All right, so I'm going to read it twice. I want you to repeat after me the first time, and then we'll talk about the meaning. Are you ready? Here we go. One grew up sickly. The other grew up very athletic. Surprisingly, it's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite relevant today and brilliantly written. One grew up sickly, the other grew up very athletic. 
surprisingly, it's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite relevant today and brilliantly written. One grew up sickly, the other grew up very athletic. Surprisingly, it's Teddy who was sickly and had to push himself. And the role of the press that she really digs into is fascinating. It's quite relevant today and brilliantly written. Okay, so what are we talking about in this story? Uh, Challenge 399, again, it's from DDM uh, 139, DDM 139. And it is a story that features Bill Gates. This is Bill Gates. And Bill Gates is talking about Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, and William Taft. And Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft are both former presidents. Okay, so Bill Gates is talking about these two former presidents, which were featured in the book, The Bully Pulpit. And this is a picture of Taft. I think that's Taft, yeah. Uh, so there's a book called The Bully Pulpit. And Bill Gates, so this story is Bill Gates is recommending five books that he really likes. And this is, I think, from 2015, 2016. So it's a couple of years ago, several years ago. Um, and you can see uh, some of the books are The Sixth Extinction, uh, something Business Adventures, The Bully Pulpit. That's this one. So right now he's talking about this book. And in the book, they talk about Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft. That's the A and B. The author is a woman, so the she, that's the author is a woman, um, and the purpose of the book is not really talking about Teddy Roosevelt or William Taft, maybe it's talking about the press, the press, the media, CNN, the New York Times, the, Lond the Financial Times, what's a London newspaper, the, the Guardian. The Guardian. What's a big newspaper in your country, in your town? That's the media. In this case, the press, rather. The press, okay? Mainstream. In America, we say uh, mainstream media. The press. So we got in America for TV, we have CNN, which is actually not popular. Number one in America is Fox. Absolutely Fox. And then after Fox uh, is CNN, uh, MSNBC, uh, and then probably ABC, NBC, CBS. These are the main news channels. So those, that's for TV. Of course, for newspapers, the New York Times, Washington Post, LA Times, Chicago Tribune. Those are the big uh, newspapers, or once again, the press in America. So Bill Gates is talking about this book, and and yeah, they talk about these two presidents, okay, uh, Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft. Interestingly, one of those men, Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft, two guys, one, one of them grew up sickly. As a child, one of them was always sick, very skinny, very weak, always sick. They worried he might die. One of those two presidents grew up as a child very sickly. He was always sick. The other grew up very athletic, very physically fit, very strong, very athletic. Now, Americans, we don't know too much. We don't remember well, no, in this case, he's been dead a long time. We don't know too much about Taft, but we do know about Teddy Roosevelt. And most Americans remember that he was, he loved hunting. So he was an outdoors guy, and that's the idea. So, you know, William Taft, who is he? Not really sure. Teddy Roosevelt, you know, president, uh, hunting, you know, tigers, and, you know, tough guy. Which one was athletic? Probably Roosevelt, right? Because he's a hunter, so athletic was Roosevelt. And probably Taft, who we don't know, he was probably sickly. Surprisingly, it is Teddy who was sickly. Oh, wow, the sickly one, the sickly one, one of two, the sickly one 
you thought it was Taft, but no, 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 no. Surprisingly, it was Roosevelt. I'm sorry, Teddy Roosevelt. It was Teddy Roosevelt who was sickly. He grew up sick all the time and had to push himself. He had to push himself. He was very weak. So, you know, if you're really weak, uh, you can just get lazy and you can just continue to be weak and and die and think, oh, poor me, blah, blah, blah. But no, Teddy Roosevelt was was very weak. He was actually physically very weak, but he pushed himself. Every day, he got up and did something and, and tried and tried, and he never gave up. Even though everything was bad, he had polio. I think he had polio, right? Everything was terrible, but he never, he kept going and going. He pushed himself. Which is why he's probably more powerful. Because when he was young, he was very weak, he was sickly, so he had to really push himself. Anyway, that's one story of the book. The other story in the book, the role of the press. And what this basically means is how powerful in society the press is. So, in 2019, in the United States, uh, we had the situation of Donald Trump and the Russia. Donald Trump and Russia. For two years, the media, the press, has been telling American people, it looks like there's a problem. It looks like Donald Trump and Russia were working together. Oh my God, Donald Trump is basically a Russian spy. For two years, the media has been very powerfully telling Americans that Donald Trump is working with the Soviet Union. Well, not the Soviet Union, with Russia, with Vladimir Putin, right? But now we discovered it's not true. There was nothing, zero. So people are shocked. So in 2019... The role of the press, the power of the press in society is really strong. And in this book, the author was digging into investigating the role of the press during these guys, Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft, a long time ago, almost 80 years ago. And it, the role of the press in the 1930s, I think, and the 2020, the role of the press is quite relevant today. She investigated the role of the press a long time ago and she discovered some interesting things and those things work today too. Very interesting. Brilliantly written. Really well written. Great story. I highly recommend the book, The Bully Pulpit. That's what Bill Gates is doing. He's recommending books to us to read. And The Bully Pulpit is a great book. Uh, it talks about uh, Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft and, you know, very interesting to learn about those two men. But it also talks about the role of the press, the power of the press in American society a long time ago. And it still works today. Very interesting. So this is the idea of what he was talking about. And this is something that we learn about in DDM, okay? DDM is so fun, you guys. If you're not a DDM member, you need to join. Join Daily Dictation members. Get the lessons for free. Let'smasterenglish.com slash free. Okay, absolutely free. Two dictation lessons, one speaking lesson. Okay, um, let'smasterenglish.com slash free. Just go there. And, uh, and by the way, you can download those lessons, but you need to ask, okay? So just send an email to help at letsmasterenglish.com and say, oh, I want to download the free lessons. What can I do? And we'll help you. People in China, you can download the lessons too. Just ask. We'll help you. Uh, there's a way to do it, and we will help you. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, Daily Dictation Challenge 399. These are the answers. And we have a brand new challenge, Challenge 400. Yes, is waiting for you. So good luck on that dictation. Take care, guys. Together, let's 
Master English.